What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Dice and Sphere program. So today, today we are going to continue, uh, continue expanding the factory, making it bigger, making it better, so we can start getting into more fun things. Now we are getting it there because, uh, well, we, I mean, we've got a lot of the, we got a lot of the basic stuff going, and now we need to start getting into a little bit more of the advanced stuff, uh, mass production of it. As you can see, our oil right now is just keeping up like no problem. So we could definitely expand this out, maybe throw some on this side, get those going over here. It's a fantastically good time. But thank you so much for coming out. And uh, I can't thank you enough for the support on the videos. Having a blast, having an absolute blast. And as always, if you want to check out the game, it is Dyson Sphere Program. I will have a link down below. So uh, we need to set up, hold on, let's actually pop into this mode. We actually need to set up some stone refinery stuff. Um, look at that right there, 737,000 stone on that one spot that sounds like a deal that sounds like a plan uh it's actually right next to one of my old bases too so that's kind of cool uh do we have any more somewhere else i don't think so that's a that's a good uh it's a good stone deposit right there all right so let's go mess with this stone deposit we're gonna get some stuff set up because we got to get glass we've got to get prisms being made we've got we've got to get that stuff going uh and then we can bring it up over into our uh our system over here so let's go ahead and let's hop out of here and what do i have do i have any miners i don't have any miners we need miners uh miners 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 where's the miners they're in the buildings of course they are uh we're gonna go ahead and build two of those and then what do i have for zero smelters my gosh do i need to make some smelters okay so you know what i'm actually gonna do is i'm actually gonna go ahead and start taking stuff from here because we're not really utilizing this stuff anyways. Uh, and we're going to need to... It's going to need to all be redone. Any hoozles. So I'm just going to start taking these smelters right here. Because that those ones specifically we're not using. Um, I'll probably go ahead and leave these ones doing the silicon for now. And then these... I, <laughs> I don't need those pulling, pulling rocks to make that stuff. Uh, these need to stay. Because those are giving us uh, all the good stuff that we have over at our base place how many does that give me as far as smelters 15 okay that that'll be enough to work with for now so let's go and start setting this up do i have power stuff okay cool we have these let's see now pretty sure it's right over it's right here actually uh so let's go ahead and let's just bring this out that way and we're gonna set up a big huge stone area right here so let's go ahead and grab these now, if you want, you can actually, if you hold shift and rotate, you can actually rotate these like off the grid, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's pretty neato, but I don't know if I necessarily need it all the time. Like, I mean, I, mean, I guess we could do something like, like this, I guess. Sure. Why not? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, and then let's get uh, let's get some over here as well. You know, honestly, I d it does it doesn't really bother me placing it on the grid. Okay, we'll place it like that. <laughs> nice. All right. So smelters, uh, we need to get a bunch of those going. Let's see. Do we have enough room in here? I feel like we probably do for stone processing. So let's go ahead and let's grab all these. Uh, let's grab a bunch of them. All right, and let's see what the recipes are that we can do with stone. So we can do stone, glass, uh, stone and glass. Okay, so we need to set up a stone area and a glass area. So let's do this. Let's select this onto stone. That might be too many smelters. That could very well be too many smelters. Mm, we'll see. Okay, and then let's go ahead. Yeah, that's gonna be too many smelters. Let's let's pop some of those off uh, so we can make some glass because we need we also need to be making glass as well okay so we're gonna put these right here uh to make glass perfect easy enough uh oh 88 belts i'm getting low on belts okay so let's run a belt line there uh let's go ahead and run a belt line here do i have any splitters i don't have splitters let's go ahead and get some splitters in here uh because this line is just gonna be split easy peasy it's a building right where are you splitter splitter right here uh one two three four let's make four of those guys i need to go grab some belts as well Okay, so there's that. All right, so now uh, we're just going to go ahead and throw a splitter right there. So we'll go from here to splitter there. Four directions. Yes. It can split the passing cargo. There or and the there. On multiple conveyor belts. 
The Perfect. speed depends on the conveyor belt speed. And then if we wanted to, we could set priority and set priority to those two, but we don't really need to do that. So let's go grab some more belts so we can get these guys going. Uh, because this is the stuff that's going to start getting into the prisms and then we're going to start getting into that photon stuff. And it's like, we're, we're about to get in all the fun stuff. We have uh, magnets being made right there, which is super cool. Um, actually, let's check on our... Let's check on these guys. How many do we have in our Dyson Sphere right now? Does it does it say? Uh, no, let's click on this. Solar sails in total eight. So yes, we've lost uh, we've lost solar sails because, like I said, they they run out every thirty minutes. Now, in the tech tree, there is where is it at? There is a solar sail. Um, I think it's actually oh actually hold on. I think it's under upgrades. Yeah, right here, solar sail life. So this one, 150 seconds, adds that, adds another 150 seconds, adds 300 seconds, adds 300 seconds, adds 450 seconds, adds 450 seconds. So that that's huge, but that's also requiring like a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of stuff. So that's super cool, super neato. But let's go get some more belts. All right, let's go ahead and let's just run this belt up to here. We'll go ahead and run output of this guy, run it right into the same belt. Actually, we'll just run it directly like this. Run that into there and then run this one from here into there as well. Okay, cool. I like that those belts just connect like that. That's really nice. That's really nice. So we have those. Now, if we're not pulling enough stone, there's actually another stone deposit right here with another 636,000. So we could actually bring that one up over here and we could expand these even further if we wanted to. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if we need to. I don't know if we need to right now, but we might need to. All right, so now we need to get, oh, we gotta get outputs on all of these as well. Um, how do I wanna do outputs? Do I wanna do outputs in the middle? Do I wanna put outputs on the outsides? All right, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna put an output on this side going back this way because I think what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna put the, the storages for the stone and the glass like right here so we can build other stuff in this area. And I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, uh, oh, my inventory, uh, my, my storage is getting a little low here. Let's go and put those in there or my, my energy. <laughs> let's get those in there. And then I want to do the same thing with the glass. So let's go ahead and let's run a line like this. Now I want to, let's see if we can raise it up. Will that work? That will totally work. Okay, cool. And then I want to go back down. Awesome. And then let's just bring this like over here, up into here. And then this guy up over here, it's like right there. Okay, cool. And then we can expand those as needed. More glass, more stone, easy peasy. We have stone, we have that. Let's go ahead and get the storages lined up as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and put a storage there and a storage there. And then let's get all the logisticals hooked up and we should be getting uh, stone pretty darn quick. All right, so there's our stone, there's our glass. Uh, we'll see how this goes when we get power. If they get backed up, we'll go ahead and just probably add some more right away. There's no reason not to. Uh, let's go ahead and get this over here. And then let's get some towers in here so everything can be powered. All right. I think everything powered up. Good to go. Uh, we could definitely run more stone into our conveyor belt line because it's not full enough right now. You can see that. Should we just go ahead and tap into this stone? I mean, that's another 636,000 right there. Yeah, we might as well. Let's just do it. Let's make it happen. Do I have any more miners? I don't. All right, so we got these two miners up and running. Uh, we got our belt lined up, and it should just go and attach right into that belt line over there, and then that will probably give us more than we even need. Now, if we need to, we can go up to conveyor belt mark threes, uh, but we're not making... We're, we haven't automated all the things to make those yet, so uh, we'll get there. But mark twos right now are working for us. I can definitely see how Mark 3s are going to start being beneficial, especially when we have a single line running a lot of stuff. All right, so there goes that line. Oh, yeah, it was backed up a little bit. <laughs> that one was backed up a little bit. Once this once this gets through, we should be good. And then that should actually... I should flood these pretty good. Yeah, see, look at that. Almost getting down here already. Uh, stone just went to that one right there. Once these start getting full... Yeah, this will be good. This will be good. Oh, wow, that's almost solid. You know, we might actually just dedicate. Let's do this. 
let's go ahead and let's uh let's actually go from here to there we'll just dedicate a line straight to uh straight to glass as well because i just don't think that line's not gonna go anywhere anyways oh yeah glass not an issue <laughs> perfect oh these things don't have power okay let's get let's get them power there they go now they're grabbing all kinds of stuff <gasps> yes perfect all right so that's looking mighty fine um we can definitely we could definitely up our glass production for sure yeah we could definitely up our glass our production do we have any more smelters i don't have any more smelters on can i make more smelters all right another 20 smelters incoming yeah we're gonna go ahead we'll expand our uh glass smelters out to this line as well you know i almost feel like this line just well we'll leave it we'll let it we'll let it do its thing you know what hold on i want to redo this a bit i want it i want this belt to actually be going into this belt uh so that this miner is priority and this belt's just going into it so wait, this one can run priority and then that way these these will back up like that okay cool uh yeah like that i like that better perfect all right, so there's our glass ramped up a little bit. I think that's good enough for now. We'll leave it. Yeah, we'll leave it. All right, so now that we have that set up, we need to start crafting some of the other components. We need to start crafting this prism. Uh, we need to turn that, we need that because that is what we need for, what is it? These things, photon combiners. Uh, oh my goodness. That's going to be like a long belt. That's going to be a very long belt. I guess we could we could use a drone tower. Hmm. Maybe we could use a drone tower. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So we have a little bit of area in here. Um, do I want to use? Yeah, why not? Let's uh, let's make this area the little prism making area since we have glass right there. And that's the only machine we'll put right in this area. We'll get a couple of these guys. I don't think we're going to need a ton of them. Yeah, we might. Yeah, we'll get five of those going and we'll leave room for expansion as always. Uh, as needed um we do actually have a little bit of iron right here so that might we might make a little processing area for that little note of iron as well because we're gonna be we're gonna need to be uh processing all that all right so prisms yes please and the only thing those need is glass which is super handy and super easy now i'm gonna throw one sorter on here for now i don't want to go in super fast I don't know how is that gonna be able to keep up let's see okay i don't think that's gonna be able to keep up with the demand are you already filled up no see that only has one okay let's throw another we'll throw another one on there then actually we'll just throw two more on there let them do their thing then we gotta get a storage in here uh for these i'm going to limit how many of these make as well I like limiting the uh, I like limiting the stuff that is being processed that's not raw ores, just because I don't want to like I don't we don't need a metric ton of it you know what I mean. All right, so there's those wonderful we're making prisms. Okay, so now, oh I love this. Now we're starting to get into like the fun stuff. Now we're starting to get into the things that we're gonna have to get other stuff going for. Um, okay, so we need to make a silicon processing area. Oh, what do we need for these? Gosh, we need diamond and what is that? We need titanium crystal. Organic crystal. We need to get plastic being made. We need to get uh, x-ray cracking going because that's going to give us energized carbon and hydrogen. And we're going to need energized carbon and refined oil for that. And then water, refined oil and plastic to make an organic crystal. And then the organic crystal can become a titanium crystal and then this is diamond which is just energized carbon uh and what was that smelting facility okay so i want to do the uh, extra cracking over here but i don't want to do too close to these in case i need to expand these because we're going to need to expand them i already know that so let's grab some oil refineries and let's just set those up like this let's get four of them for now uh, we'll probably run a full line this way again and then we're gonna select x-ray cracking on that so we need hydrogen and refined oil so we're gonna have two inputs oh we're gonna have two inputs and two outputs oh this is gonna make things a little bit more difficult okay all right so we're gonna have to redo this a little bit hold on 
because sorters can only max out at three and if we have four items they're not gonna be able to, it's not gonna be able to reach so we're gonna have to have some on each side and these only have okay so we're gonna have to have them like this on their sides yeah it's gonna have to be like that so we can have two belts on each side all right so i i, I lost my drone somewhere <laughs> um, I lost my building drones. Uh, I think I took off when they were building this and then like they, yeah, there they are. <laughs> Come on, little buddies. So there's my little drone slot right there. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. They were like, wait for us. Okay. So we've got these now. These are, like I said, these are x-ray cracking to turn high two hydrogen and one refined oil into one energized graphite and three hydrogen which is good because we always need more hydrogen and refined graphite um i haven't had a super huge need for refined oil except for the plastic which we're going to need but that's okay um and i think it'll be fine because we're this is making an, an extra one every time yeah, yeah yeah we'll be good we'll be good way good all right so we need to get all the belts in here now all right awesome so we need to bring in hydrogen and oil we're gonna bring those into this line right here uh we're gonna have to bring a line all the way back and down and over here but that's okay yeah that'll that'll be fine that'll be fine so we're gonna have probably the input line on this side outputs on this side and then if we need to actually what we could do is we could run another thing on the other side and we could have the same output line on this one and then another input line on the other one might do that okay so let me get some conveyors hooked up and we'll get these going you know actually i changed my mind a little bit because it would be easier if the input line was in the middle of the two because then i can just connect them like this and pull to two uh two rows of machines whether if because if i did this then i have to like go up and over and all that fun stuff um so yeah we'll do that this will be the input that'll be output that's not an issue whatsoever all right so we need hydrogen and oil on these lines too easy we'll go ahead and pull this one actually we'll, mm, it's not gonna really matter is it nah it's not really gonna matter all right we'll pull this one from here to there and we'll pull this one from here to there that'll get hydrogen and oil flowing in and then yeah if we need to pull we're gonna need to pull more hydrogen but actually this isn't going to be our main hydrogen storage our main hydrogen storage is going to be elsewhere because this is going to be making more hydrogen um and we also need to get energized carbon over here as well do i have any more storage tanks i do okay perfect so um let's see we're gonna have let's see where do i want these i guess we'll just throw them like kind of way out here and we'll throw this one this one will become hydrogen and then we'll throw a thing right here that will become carbon all right so now all we need to do is get these uh machines lined up good to go and we'll let them run we'll let them do the things all right let's get some inputs going we'll get that going yes i think this is the first time i've ever actually used the x-ray cracking i'm pretty excited about it <laughs> it's the little things you know oh shoot we gotta power these things um the problem is i don't have any room in here to place these i almost need to leave a space in between each one so we can put the power towers in there yeah there we go that looks a little bit better copy those over we'll get inputs outputs going okay all right all right so there's some x-ray cracking going on wonderful now that doesn't make energized carbon super quick it really really doesn't okay um we might need to ramp this up like significantly all right we're running into some power issues <laughs> so what do we need to automate the solar sails the graphene and then the photon stuff i'm thinking it might be time to start automating these things so an assembler can assemble that into those and then graphene is energized carbon 
and sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is oil, water, and stone. So I think we need to get a sulfuric acid plant going as well. Now I'm hoping that we are making more refined oil than we're using, which we are, okay. We can always ramp that up too. So where is a stone deposit? that we can pull this oil from to make sulfuric acid in order to make graphene because we need to get that automated we need we need the power that that gives us unless i just want to set up a whole bunch more generators which i really don't want to do i mean honestly the biggest stone thing was back over there but gosh that is a long ways to transport either stone or oil i mean i we could drone tower it over hmm okay you know what we have a lot of graphene left over we could probably just go ahead and use the graphene we have to temporarily give us the power that we need and then while that's doing that we could get up uh get our new stuff set up so let's go ahead let's do that because what is that it's uh it's graphene and the photon stuff so there's graphene where's the photon stuff did we we were making oh we're making solar sails right here okay how many is in there 200 you know what let's just hook this bad boy up and let's just let it go let's let it do its thing and hopefully that'll give us enough power temporarily to uh to let us get other stuff built all right so there's that let's go ahead and let's get this into here and then let's get this guy finished up and we'll get some solar sails going. That'll help our power a little bit. Now, hopefully the EM rail has enough power to actually shoot those things. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, it looks like, it looks like it's good. Okay, so, but we're at pitch limit right now. So it's gonna be a little bit, that's fine. It can get loaded up and uh, do its thing. All right. So that'll help with power once those get going. But we got to get that stuff going as well. We got to get sulfuric acid being made. Oh, you know what? This could be a good spot right here. Then there's crude oil. Oh, you know what? I mean, it's not super far away. It's actually not that far away. We could always bring the stone in right here. Let's see, there's stone. Yeah, we're producing stone right there. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and make a sulfuric acid plant right here. I think that'll work. All right, so I'm getting some stuff set up here. We got water coming in here. Uh, this is going to be the output of these guys. Now, I actually used a splitter because if you didn't know, uh, a lot of people wanted me to inform people of this, is actually while you have the splitter, you can hit tab and it gives you different options. Now, you got to keep in mind, this is splitting one item. So you can either... Like uh, the standard one is like this, a four way ground splitter, or you can have it split this way. So um, you can have it splitting uh, up and down. So basically like an elevator or elevating side to side too. So you can go like from the bottom to the top out the side. So it's actually pretty handy. It's pretty nice. Uh, I just use one right here. So that way we can get the fluids into this guy. Um, and then since I'm right here, I might as well just go ahead and output all of this onto these because we're gonna need this sulfuric acid any hoozles and now uh all we need to get is water in here we need to get stone and the refined oil the refined oil is gonna be kind of a pain but i mean it's still pretty far away <laughs> it's not close uh it's not close by any means but yeah it is what it is we'll we'll figure it out and then stone as well um oh looks like we're shooting some sails oh my gosh it looks so cool when they it like shoots and you can like we can see from the other side of the planet go ahead shoot another one maybe it's not gonna shoot again shoot this probably doesn't have enough power probably the issue which is unfortunate because that was supposed to solve my power problem yeah you don't have enough power oh, wait that's not even it where is it this guy. Oh, yes, you don't have enough power, do you? Uh, no, not even close. Okay. Uh, we need to unhook some things here that we're no longer utilizing because it's just drawing power that we don't need. So let's undo those. Um, uh, these things. 
are never going to give us power either. They're also not taking power. You're not going to give us power. We're not using the stone over here anymore, so I don't need that. Not utilizing that machine. We're not utilizing that machine. We are utilizing these. Oh, we're not utilizing any of these. That might help our power a little bit. So there's that. Um, not utilizing these anymore for now. And I think this is the only machine that I am really using over here. Are we using this one? I don't think we're using this one either. Aren't you storing? Are you not storing these things? Nope, not utilizing that one either. Basically, none of these we're utilizing. How's our power now? <laughs> I feel like it's worse. It is worse. It is worse. This is not good. Because my EM thing can't can't shoot. I can't get power because I don't have enough power to shoot them to get the power. Oh, we lost another one. Finally. Oh, there goes another one. Okay, that might have helped. It looks like we're getting enough power to, to at least allow this to launch every now and then. All right, and then how is that helping our overall power situation? Probably not a lot because they don't supply a lot of power. Just a little bit. All right, so we'll let this do its thing. We'll let it do its thing. Hopefully, as that shoots, it will give us more power. Okay. So I'm actually going to run a splitter off of this right here and allow this one to be uh, used for sulfuric acid. So we'll go ahead and do this. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and go this route with it. And then that'll give us, uh, we'll let it run above the ground. So that way it will, uh... hold on, let's go and raise it up. That way, when we run this huge belt over there, we can always run things underneath of it. Kind of keeps stuff out of the way a little bit. All right, so stone's over here, water is over here. Now we just gotta grab that oil, that refined oil. You know what? I think we're gonna throw a drone tower over here. That's a long run. And if I put a drone tower over here, I could I could supply refined oil and demand regular oil because we're gonna need one over here anyways in order to get uh, to utilize all the oil on this planet. So let's do that. Let's get some, let's see, transportation. I don't have one of those. What do I need to make one of those? I need the purpley stuff. Okay. And I need two of those actually because we're going to put another one. Good gosh. Is that even worth it? If I put a tower here, that's like the belt's halfway there. Yeah, that's not worth it. That's, <laughs> that's not worth it. But I still think we need a drone tower over here uh, to bring in crude oil for sure. All right. So that line's going, that's going to drain our supply pretty quickly because this whole line is going to fill up uh, and it's a very long line <laughs> very long line indeed but now we need power over here which is power is kind of an issue but you know we'll figure it out right absolutely oh there comes our oil uh, very nice very nice and we need three belts on all of these all right let's make this happen and we should get our sulfuric acid going and then we should be able to get uh, some plastic going so we can start automating the solar sails. Oh, wait, the sulfuric acid was to make graphene. <laughs> okay, so plastic is energized carbon and refined oil. So now we need to set up an area for that. Actually, we might do that over here since I already just brought... No, we're not going to do that over here. Let's see. Refined oil and energized graphite. You know, we could set up a small energized graphite thing right here. So we're not pulling from that directly, but at the same time, oil is an infinite resource. But then again, 784,000, that would last so long. That would last us like, oh, that would last so long. Maybe we should just do that. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. I think we'll just set up a little thing over here. Uh, and this is going to be to make graphene. Okay, let's see. Graphene is not made in here. <laughs> All right, T. It must be made in the... Is it made in the chemical plant? Yeah, chemical facility. Okay. Okay, so the graphene area is set up. However, the power is the problem. We're having a big power issue right now. And it's just 
getting worse. <laughs> it's just getting worse. So, okay, let's see. I was trying to automate this stuff right here. Okay, cool. Did we automate the photon -y stuff? No, we have not auto automated the photon combiner yet. So we need to automate that. We need to get solar sails being made. We need to use that. But I was actually looking at research and it might be who of us to start working on mini fusion power generator. Because if we get Deridian, we get that. Uh, the only thing we need, like I said, we need this stuff right here. And that stuff's a pain to get because we need these. Um, but we need plastic and then plastic. We need to set that up as well. And that's like a whole factory thing. Uh, what is this? Wait a second. What did I have these like to? Graphene, right? Sulfuric acid and that. What? Wasn't I going to do plastic here? I guess we could do plastic here as well. I thought I was going to I was going to do plastic because that's why I was right next to this. <laughs> and uh, that's why I was using this. OK, so apparently we're using this to make graphene. Uh, now, who knew? <laughs> who knew? Wait a second. Yeah. Wait, so the difference between graphene and plastic is what? The oil? That's not that bad. We could totally set up the oil thing right here, too um yeah we're gonna have to do that so that is actually gonna end this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed lots more factory stuff going on uh next episode we might focus on power because nothing is gonna be running nothing's gonna be working unless we have power so i think what's gonna have to happen i honestly think what i'm gonna do uh to get things started off right and to try to get this power situation solved is i think i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna delete everything over here I'm going to delete all of this stuff and I'm going to reset it up uh, because I mean, we're only pulling a couple things from over here. Anyways, I'm going to reset up everything and then uh, let it do its thing. Because like, I mean, what are we? I mean, yes, I'm out of belts and like, I'd like some of this stuff as well. So, but I think I'm just gonna get rid of the machines, leave the storages, um, let this guy run through whatever power we can get from that and then utilize that chance to, uh, to get other power stuff going because oh it's just we're not looking good we're not looking good what is our power um i mean we're getting closer we're getting closer as this continues to shoot more sails up we're getting closer but it's it's still not great what how, we have 88 sails in orbit right now uh generating three megawatts that's it three like i feel like that's like nothing <laughs> i feel like that's nothing so uh yeah i'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up in between this episode and next episode next episode we're gonna get our power situation fixed um hopefully we'll clear all of this up we can get just our iron our copper stuff going over here um and then this stuff the automated stuff i i want to i want to look at this and i want to see what we need in order to automate this stuff um i'd like to build a mall at some point and essentially what a mall is if you guys um are, are unfamiliar with like you know the factory stuff is basically having an area that has like all of these items readily available for you to grab if you need them um, but it's like one area that has like all of the stuff now that is kind of a logistics nightmare because you know so many different things require so many different things but um it is super handy to have and i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see if we need to do that but like i just need to get rid of some machines now i know my new stuff is what's pulling all the power and i know that's what the issue is and actually honestly like a lot of these like these things right here these don't need to be here anymore so like that's the kind of stuff i need to get rid of because these all of these little deals are pulling power too so like just getting rid of those could help our power situation a tiny bit but if like i mean i have a hundred of them you know like you know what i mean so anyways that's gonna end this episode thank you so much for coming out oh whoa what was that oh that's the power line okay oh but look at that look at that look how cool that looks with all those solar sails. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. But thank you again for coming out. Have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to check out the game, link down below. Leave a like. Subscribe to the video if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.